Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. In this video, it's going to be a quick one. I'm just going to show you the difference between the two ways to duplicate an object in Blender and why you would use which, well, why you would use each method. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, for so for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use the monkey to show you guys the basics of the two ways to duplicate an object so first way is you click on object you go shift d duplicate it another way is if you click on object go alt d you can see it duplicates objects okay so both ways duplicate object but let me explain the difference between the two okay so this is not going to be a technical explanation if you want a technical explanation let me know and i'll give it to you but uh, this is just the way i understand it and thought i'd just explain it to you guys okay so what i'm going to do is just enable so you can see just a normal object now if i go let me add a material okay let me go shift d shift d now if I want to add a material to this object, watch what happens. So I just go with the basic material. Okay, so you see it only adds to this material and not this one. Okay, so obviously, one way is if you want to duplicate object and add another, like a Another material, so, so I want to add a material to this one. Okay, now let's delete this and delete this. Let's add a monkey again. Okay, now if I go Alt D, duplicate it. Okay, now let's add a material. Well, I did on the wrong one. Let's add it to this one. It will do the same thing though. Okay, so it adds it to both. Now, if I make changes, if I go, yeah, change this, both get changed. So you can do this for if you've got like an emission light. So let's say you've got a hallway and you want to put different kind of like tube lights or whatever. You go Alt D and you can adjust the light. Whereas if you go shift D, which I'll show you later, it won't. Okay. Then obviously, if you change this one, it will also affect that one because they're the same. Okay. So let's delete this. Okay. Next thing. So let me delete the slides. This one. Okay. So got up. So delete this one too. Okay. So another one is let's say I want to light the scene. So go here, shift A, add a simple light, let's go to area, then go G, bring it up, S, scale, G, and then R, okay, now, I've got a point in here, now, what you can do, is if you go, so if you go Alt D, it's going to duplicate the, old, the light, and then what you do, go R. Okay, let's put it somewhere like, like that, for instance. Now let's go to Area Light One, change this to 100, and then that one will change to. Okay, so once you adjust this one. Both get adjusted. Whereas if you go Shift D, so let's go delete that one, click on the slot, go Shift D, bring this one here, go R. Now I change this to a thousand, to a hundred. This one stays five hundred. Okay, so it's just. One of the basic ways to understand it works for lights, 
works for materials it does not work for if you got a object and you add a modifier it won't work okay just just so you know but this is just a basic explanation of the two ways to duplicate an object and why you would use either or okay so hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button and i'll see you next